win. Today we're working on this 58 Chevrolet Apache. Original Glade green color. We're gonna go from a long bed to a short bed, 114 inch wheelbase. So you may be asking yourself, how much do I gotta cut? Well, I'm gonna show you. So as you can see by the design that I sketched here, we're gonna cut off this hashed area here, my big head, and this area here. So what you're gonna have is this coming this way and this coming that way. A total of nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter, folks. The bed has already been shortened. Actually, it's already a short bed. I'm gonna walk around to the driver's side to get a perspective of the passenger side, what was done. Okay, so those tools slide together. And it's a great idea to go ahead and grab the parts respectively from that side, put them on this side, and you're gonna use these as templates. So that you know that exactly where you cut the other one, it's gonna match on this one. Here's the bottom plate. You compare it. And there you have it. So you know they're gonna be identical once you go cinch them together. Okay, now we're on to the driver's side. As you can see, the step cut design that I'm using seems to be the strongest and best option for what I'm doing, so. That's out. So next one is gonna be this one down here. And we'll be cut, and then we'll be joining these two parts together or a pro tip, as like some people like to call it. When you're doing a step cut, okay, very important to know that these edges have to be completely parallel to each other, okay? The vertical ones, the horizontal ones. Also, you wanna make sure that you bevel the, all these edges that you cut, you clean them up real nice, and you bevel them, you clean them, get rid of all oxidation or rust that may be around. And on the other side, I'll show you. Let's go this way. I've already cleaned them up on this side. And you guys remember that a well-executed weld will always be stronger than the parent metal. So this would be the parent metal. Key word, well-executed. So make sure you bevel your edges, you clean up all the metal around where you're gonna weld and uh, make sure everything is square, please. Okay, so this is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and cinch it together now and I'll begin to tack weld everything in place. All right, so now it's early morning. I'm gonna assess what happened last night with the welds. I did remove the bed. This is a short bed. I had this in my inventory, so. So I use a stitch weld technique on both sides. Side and out. I'll show you both sides as we go around. I'm gonna add a little fish plate on the inside of the rails for added strength, but I stitch welded all the way up on both sides. Got great penetration. And it's gonna look great. I say factory. Okay, so what do we got left to do? Well, obviously you have your brake lines that run through here. I just went ahead and bent it, gave it a loop right there. I'll separate it from the exhaust. And you're gonna have to remove nine inches and a quarter off the drive shaft, respectively, because it's what you did here. 
All right. So uh, I'm gonna set up the welder and my welding table. Right, we're gonna knock this out today. Alright, so this is the final product. I went ahead and put some fish plates. Put them on the outside because the inside would have been too cumbersome to get in and I wouldn't have been able to weld it so precisely. That's it. We got a short bed frame. We got a short bed over there.